Sebastian Vettel's seven-word verdict about Valtteri Bottas and Lewis Hamilton sums things up Vettel's Ferrari is rapid on the straights and it's comfortably quicker than the Mercedes. But it's Bottas and who own the corners and the Mercedes pair finished on the front row in qualifying. Vettel was delighted with coming in third, however, and he delivered a perfect response to Martin Brundle's question about his hopes for Racete afterwards. They are bloody quick in the corners. The German said when Brundle suggested the Ferrari's straight line speed could help them on Sunday. He then added, right from Q1 they seemed to start off from a better place. I think we had a good session, maybe there was a tiny bit more. I'm actually quite happy I managed that final attempt as it was quite marginal with time. The team told me I had just 10 seconds margin so I hurried up and managed to cross the line in time. I think there was maybe a little bit more but not enough to beat these guys today. For us, when we get close we have an advantage on the straight line so we can do something there. The race is long. We will take it from there into the race tomorrow. Bottas, 29, had never qualified on the front row in Shanghai in his six years as an F1 driver. But the Finn put that right on Saturday to help Mercedes lock out the front row for the 59th time. Hamilton was impressed with his teammates showing and said, I didn't give up, I kept pushing him right to the end. Big congratulations to Valtteri, he's been stellar all weekend. I've been fighting the car all weekend and been chipping away at it. But I'm much happier with it as the gap between us was 8 tenths so to be as close as we are at the end is fantastic. It's an incredible result for the team, there's a little bit more time on the table there but that's cool, I'll try and get it tomorrow. Next news Lewis Hamilton pays classy tribute to Valtteri Bottas after pole finish at Chinese GP. Bottas, 29, had never qualified on the front row in Shanghai in his six years as an F1 driver. But the Finn put that right on Saturday when he finished 0023 seconds ahead of to ensure he starts on the front of the grid for Sunday's race. It's the 59th time the Mercedes have locked out the front row during qualifying and Bottas' teammate Hamilton was impressed with the display. I didn't give up, I kept pushing him right to the end, he said. Big congratulations to Valtteri, he's been stellar all weekend. I've been fighting the car all weekend and been chipping away at it. But I'm much happier with it as the gap between us was 8 tenths so to be as close as we are at the end is fantastic. It's an incredible result for the team, there's a little bit more time on the table there but that's cool, I'll try and get it tomorrow. Ferrari are rapid on the straights but they just don't have an answer to Bottas and Hamilton's speed around the corners. Five-time world champion Hamilton lauded his team for getting the cars set upright and said, Ferrari are particularly quick on the straights but it's evident this weekend we've managed to pull some performance from the corners. It's just great work from the guys back at the factory in analyzing the last two races. It's really positive for us, I'm really happy. It's the seventh pole of the Finns career. His first of the 2019 season and came after dominant performances throughout practice. It's been a good weekend so far. I felt very comfortable today in the practice and in the qualifying, Bottas said. I struggled a bit in Q3 to get the perfect lap in but it was good enough. The lap was okay, not completely how I wanted but luckily it was good enough for pole. The car has been really good this weekend. Next news Max Verstappen rages at Sebastian Vettel in X-rated team radio Randa Chinese Grand Prix. Verstappen was able to split the pair of Ferraris in both of the first two qualifying sessions. However, as the Dutchman was preparing a final hot lap in Q3 he was overtaken by Vettel and a chasing Renault at the hairpin. 
Verstappen was told you need to go now over the team radio. But he was then overtaken past by his Ferrari rival, to which he fumed. I'm finished, right, he said. They are such bleep, honestly. They just effed it up. I was just trying to be nice and everybody's effed it up. Sky Sports commentator David Croft was in Verstappen's corner as he believes Vettel was not sticking to the driver's etiquette. Verstappen was still furious at Vettel in his post-qualifying interview. The 21-year-old firmly believes he would be starting the race on the second row had it now been for Vettel. I could also have overtaken the Ferrari in front but it's just not what you do in qualifying. Verstappen said. I'm not happy about it but it will swing around and it will come back to others as well. We were fighting for third. When you then can't do your final lap you know that the guys who are doing the lap have a chance of overtaking you. Verstappen will instead have to fight his way from fifth. Valtteri Bottas secured pole position, ahead of teammate Lewis Hamilton. Next news what Valtteri Bottas has done at Chinese Grand Prix that he's never done before. Bottas had never qualified on the front row in Shanghai in his six years as an F1 driver. But Bottas put that right on Saturday when he finished 0023 seconds ahead of Mercedes teammate to ensure he starts on the front of the grid for Sunday's race. It's the seventh pole of the Finns career. His first of the 2019 season and came after dominant performances throughout practice. It's been a good weekend so far. I felt very comfortable today in the practice and in the qualifying, Bottas said. I struggled a bit in Q3 to get the perfect lap in but it was good enough. The lap was okay, not completely how I wanted but luckily it was good enough for pole. The car has been really good this weekend and Lewis managed to improve a lot during qualifying so it was super close. It's the 59th time the Mercedes have locked out the front row during qualifying and Bottas teammate Hamilton too was a happy man. I didn't give up, I kept pushing him right to the end, he said. Big congratulations to Valtteri, he's been stellar all weekend. I've been fighting the car all weekend and been chipping away at it. But I'm much happier with it as the gap between us was 8 tenths so to be as close as we are at the end is fantastic. It's an incredible result for the team, there's a little bit more time on the table there but that's cool, I'll try and get it tomorrow. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to share and subscribe to your channel to get the latest sports news around the world. Wished health and success. Goodbye.